The Star Ferry at Sunset. Founded in 1888, its fleet of 12 ferries transports millions of passengers each year across Victoria Harbor, connecting Hong Kong Island with the Kowloon Peninsula and costing less than 50 cents one way for sweeping views of the city's skyline. From funiculars to electric trams to ferries, Hong Kong has a plethora of public transportation options. And that diversity of choice in getting from point A to point B is also driving researchers in the Netherlands who are testing new technologies for greater connectivity. Rotterdam, the second largest city in the Netherlands and a major port city. Here, bicyclists exist alongside public transit. And electric vehicle adoption is among the highest in the world. With mobility, you can really reach specific goals. You can reach some challenges. You can make impact. On her daily commute to the office, that impact is front of mind for 27-year-old Iris Rouse, the director of the Future Mobility Network. A consulting firm affiliated with the Delft University of Technology and founded in 2016 that connects scientists, local government and industry to develop new forms of mobility. The overall mission of the Future Mobility Network is to make cities more green, more livable, sustainable and also safe. And we do this by implementing new technologies and not only implementing that but also testing. Those tests take place at the company's so-called Future Mobility Park in Rotterdam, where self-driving shuttles, delivery robots, and a smart intersection offers a glimpse into the next iteration of transport. What is so special about this intersection is that it has sensors, cameras, to let these vehicles communicate with each other. At the Future Mobility Park, we invite the next generation to meet with these new technologies, to get inspired. Another project at the park, curbside management using digital tools. We make public space more dynamic and adaptive by covering it with a digital layer. Because what we notice in cities all over the globe, the space is very static and monofunctional. So this used to be an unloading bay or a parking spot, but we want to change this. We turned it into a smart zone. And a smart zone is a place that can have different functions throughout the day. So it can become a parking spot at certain time slots, but it can also be an unloading bay or even room for terraces in the weekend. You use our software platform, our app, to book this. And our hardware here, the sign, shows who is allowed to use it and at what time frame. This year we did uh, a pilot in Utrecht where we implemented our smart zone in a live setting. We also looked at if we can use our smart zone for more recreational purposes to give something back to the neighborhood. For Singaporean researcher Lynette Chia, this type of tech could streamline urban spaces. Digitalization is about how we use information to make decisions on planning, managing transport systems. In terms of curbside management, it can also tell us about the status of these facilities, whether it's crowded or not. As a driver, should I come at a later time, given that there's already congestion forming? So information like that helps with planning and it can help make it more efficient. With nearly a third of the Netherlands lying below sea level, Technology for traversing bodies of water is just as necessary as street-level mobility. Last year, Rouse and her team launched an autonomous ferry, which is operated remotely. We well, actually don't need uh, a captain aboard. And here in the Netherlands, it's quite of a problem that the ferries that we used to have are not there anymore because of the, the money that a captain costs. For Rouse, testing the feasibility of these smart city solutions is the key to a frictionless, more livable future, one where technology can facilitate newfound connectivity and the next evolution of mobility. So when thinking about the future city, I really dream a lot about it. And what I see then is a city where there's lots of green, where I see children play, where there's no any form of unsafe environments where there is delivery drones delivering medicine to people, but also these self-driving pods making sure my grandma can also go to the grocery store. So that's really what I'm envisioning all the time when thinking of this future city. Every year the innovations are always appearing <laughs> in the space of mobility.
while we have autonomous vehicles coming, automation coming, electric vehicles coming, how innovations are going to be used is going to be very important. There's always a role for researchers and different groups to come together to solve mobility problems.